Hey guys, this is Shiro. You might be wondering, what the hell is this and why are you doing this? Well, this is just me reading out parts of a novel uh, because I know some people like listening to audiobooks more than reading actual books. And I can't blame them, I prefer reading novels though. And I don't plan to edit much of this, so it's just gonna be me reading this to you. <laughs> uh, even if I my mistakes, you're just gonna hear them and probably hate me for it, but yeah, anyway. Why am I doing this? A friend of mine, Kai, or Demonic Romans, whatever you want to call him, told me I should do that because I read him a few chapters of Oremo and he loved it, so <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna read Danmachi, the prologue for now, and this is just gonna be like a quick test of if you guys actually like that or not. Um, why is there no video? Well, honestly, I don't think there should be a video to this, and it's in the middle of the night. I can't really record now. now. I don't have any daylight. But without further ado, let's let's just start this. It's already one minute into the video, and I've just been rambling. Okay, let's go. Prologue. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? You know, an endless labyrinth divided into multiple floors and filled with scary monsters. Expectation? Join a group of fearless adventurers seeking wealth and fame. Go off to battle as soon as guild registration is complete. Meet a beautiful girl and protect her from an onslaught of monsters with only a sword in my hand. The air fills with the echoing screams, the monsters roars and the clash of my sword as we face certain death. In the end, all that remains is her sitting on the floor beside my cool, heroic self, standing over the remains of all the monsters I slew. Her cheeks blush as she looks upon me with beautiful, sparkling eyes. Love is about to bloom. Then sometimes I'd go to the local watering hole to boast about my day's adventures to the cute barmaids, make some new allies. Sometimes I'd protect the young elfes from a few of my more barbaric comrades. Sometimes I'd help a struggling Amazonian warrior by letting her join my party. Sometimes I might be seen getting friendly with other girls, causing some drama and jealousy. Sometimes this, sometimes that. Sometimes... I want to grow up a bit, because the kind of hero men dream about in tales of adventure. I want to be more than friends with cute girls. I want to meet the ladies of all the different races. Isn't having these slight corrupt and naive thoughts part of being a young man? Is trying to meet girls in a dungeon, no, a harem, really that wrong? Conclusion? I was wrong. <laughs> I'm about to die courtesy of these slightly corrupt and naive thoughts. Basically, I'm being chased by the bull-headed man-beast, the Minotaur. I'm going to be devoured by a monster that my measly level 1 attacks can't even scratch. I'm dead. So, so dead. Where did my dumb, despicable delusions get me? To the Minotaur's dinner plate. That's where... I'm such an idiot. I was stupid to think I was destined to find my dream girl in a dungeon. Striking gold in here. The golden locks of a beautiful maiden, that is, was nothing more than a hopeless fantasy. Come to think of it, I was doomed the moment I decided to look for my dream girl in a dungeon where hundreds of adventurers die every day. Ah, what would I give to go back in time? To go back to that moment when I came of age and registered at the guild, eyes sparkling and punch my fate self in the face. That would be so nice. But that's not possible, physically or otherwise. Ah! The Minotaur's hoof comes crashing down behind me. Haha, <laughs> it missed. Eh? When did that crack get there? Not the most graceful face planned. Here comes that hoof again. Roll now! <laughs> okay, have a breathing. Ah! All I can do now is uh, scoot my sorry butt back. All the cute girls would laugh, for sure, if they saw me like this. From the start, guess I never had what it takes to be a beloved hero. My back hits the wall. Now there really is nowhere to run. I sprinted all the way, hall after hall, just to get trapped in a wide square room. And now I'm cornered. This really is the end.
I think to myself, my teeth chattering and tears rolling down my cheeks. The Minotaur's nose is so close, its putrid breath pound, uh, pounding my skin. Look up at its ridiculous muscular body. It has to be at least twice my size. What's worse, it's gloating over me with a clumsy broken smile. In the end, I didn't meet any girls at all. The same fantasies that got me in this mess are running through my head for the last time. Oh look, the Minotaur's hoof is above my head. The next moment, a line shoots across the creature's torso. Huh? Sounds like he's just as confused as I am. The line doesn't stop there. It travels through thick pectoral muscles across the raised leg, up the thigh, to the shoulders, and finally out the Minotaur's neck. Now a silver light is shining through. And so it was that monster I couldn't scratch was cut into slabs of meat. Gah? Its dying roar of surprise and pain echoes through the chamber. Yes, I failed at making that noise. Ignore it. I'm bad at that. The beast's body falls to pieces along the mis... The okay, <laughs> I've messed up again. The beast's body falls to pieces along the, the section incisions, as if the seams of an overstuffed doll all burst at once. Its dark red stuffing sprays out like a fountain. Time stands still as a tsunami of beast blood washes over me. Are you... okay? That's when I see a young girl, no, goddess, emerge from behind what's left of the bull monster. Her thin body is decorated with light blue clothing. Even in armor, she radiates feminine beauty. She stands tall, despite her petite frame. Her bulging twins... What the f Twins? Okay. Her bulging twins are packed tightly into a breastplate engraved with a sil silver emblem. The same emblem graces her wrists and blood-soaked saber. She points the glistening blade downward, the blood dripping harmlessly to the floor. The blonde hair hanging down to her waist shines so brightly, I could swear it's made of real gold. Atop of a body that any woman w would call delicate perches the face of a sweet young girl. She looks down upon me with golden eyes. Ah. A female warrior with golden eyes and hair, clad in light blue raiment. Even a level 1 newbie like me knows who's standing there. There's no mistaking Loki Familia's Ice Wallenstein. Everyone knows she's achieved the highest rank among humans. No, all female races. Level 5. Um, are you sure you're okay? No, I'm not okay. Definitely not okay. My heart feels like it could explode and fall to pieces any second. This is not okay. My cheeks blush as I gaze upon her with sparkling doe eyes. Love is about to bloom. No... Love is erupting within me. My soul is gone. It's hers now. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? After further review, I was not wrong. Well, that's it for the prologue, and yeah, if that's actually enjoyable, I don't know, then I might make that for like the entire chapters of the first four volumes, I guess, because I have them here, and because they're easy to make, so... Yep, if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up or just leave me a comment below. If you didn't, then don't watch it. I mean, nobody's forcing you to watch it unless somebody's really, really evil and knows you hate it and forces you to watch it in, in like, the basement while you're chained against... Uh, okay, yeah, let's let, let's forget about that. Um, before I have any more weird delusions, let's end this video right there um, and see or... In this case, hear you guys next time. See ya, bye! Try to test it